The Philadelphia Eagles have lost five of six, and A.J. Brown is out. For the Eagles against the Buccaneers, I am Andy Lang from wagertalk.com. We're going to break down Eagles traveling to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers. And I'm looking at the Wager Talk live odds page. And the Eagles are around that two and a half. If you really, really would like to get uh, the Buccaneers plus three, they're out there. But mostly this is settled in at minus two and a half with an over under at 43. So obviously the big thing coming into this one is just the complete struggles of the Philadelphia Eagles. Is it something where the schedule just got so brutal for them in the, that stretch where they had to play Dallas, Kansas City, Buffalo, San Francisco, Dallas, Seattle? Is it a case where it just really wore them down and they really didn't have much interest in the last couple games and now they're coming back uh, good and motivated? Or do we have to take these injuries serious? Jalen Hurts hasn't been practicing. A.J. Brown is out. They're banged up on defense, so are these things that the Eagles just absolutely cannot overcome? It's a big question. And meanwhile with Tampa, I mean, the fact is Tampa has won uh, five out of six games. Their only loss was at home to New Orleans. But the eye test, Baker Mayfield, it doesn't look 100%. He looks banged up. And they they won their last game 9 to nothing against the Carolina Panthers. It was not exactly a very, very good, uh, strong end to the season. But they get the home play, uh, playoff game, and they get the, uh, the, the the home field advantage. So credit to them. They earned it, and they deserve it. So what are we going to do with this game? If it's under a field goal, I believe that the Eagles are just the better team, and I think they squeak out a close one, and I will lay the two-and-a-half points. It's scary because of how bad the defense has been but I think Mike Evans is going to get his yards and probably a touchdown. I think Rashad White is going to have a pretty good advantage on the ground. But this is a Tampa team that, I mean, when they've stepped up in competition, they've struggled. The, 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 their best win, I believe, is at Green Bay. That was 34-20. to 20. That's a playoff team. But other than that, you're looking at these wins. Jacksonville, who struggled. They beat Carolina, who struggled. Atlanta's been terrible. Carolina again. Then they lose to the Colts and to the 49ers. They beat Tennessee, but before that, that losses to Houston, Buffalo, Atlanta, and Detroit. So I'm not really sure this Buccaneers team is in the same uh, echelon of some of these playoff teams. So I am going to take the Eagles here. It's a roll of the dice that they just, for whatever reason, didn't have the heart in the last few games, and I like the motivation on this team. Uh, they're already talking about the coach potentially being fired if they lose this game. And one guy I do trust in the locker room is Jalen Hurts. We've seen it throughout his college career. His teammates rally around him. And when it comes down to a quarterback, I'm going to trust Jalen Hurts over Baker Mayfield. And I'm going to trust the uh, the creativity of this Philadelphia Eagles offense to run the ball effectively and to figure out a way to navigate this offense without A.J. Brown. Devontae Smith should get a lot of targets. Dallas Goddard should get a lot of targets. When I look at the Buccaneers, if I thought Baker Mayfield was 100% healthy, I would be a lot more concerned about this play. But he just doesn't look right to me uh, when I watch him play. And I think the Eagles are going to do whatever they can to take away Mike Evans, whether it works all game or not. I just think it comes down to a late possession in the fourth quarter, and I will trust the Philadelphia Eagles team that has been there before. So my official play is going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. I will tell you, uh, I like the rushing line on Rashad White to go over. Even though I just talked about the Eagles, I feel like this 64 and a half is a little bit low. This is an Eagles team that has been run all over. This used to be the strong port, strong point of their defense, but recently they have been giving up well over 130 yards per game, and Rashad White is the guy in town. He's the only one that's getting a, a lot of carries in that backfield. So maybe maybe look at his rush attempts, but definitely his uh, his his rushing yards over is going to be a play for me. So let's cash in on the Eagles at minus two and a half. Can't say it's a super confident play, but I do lean uh, with them. And then I like Rashad White to go over his rushing yards. And if you're interested in 30 days worth of plays and an instant discount, use the promo code LANG30. It gets $100 off a 30-day pass. This includes all sports. It includes all percentages. We've got the Australian Open tennis major that is starting. We have dominated the tennis majors 
over the years, in particular this Australian Open, up 15 units last year. So if you want all sports, including NFL plays, NHL plays, Australian Open, uh, UFC, use the promo code LANG30. We're up 91 units in 2023, already up 22 units in 2024. So looking forward to keeping the profits rolling in and helping everyone to build those bankrolls. Good luck on your plays today, and we will see everyone later.